In terms of the, of the direct payments uh, and the greening of, of the CAP, uh, yes, I am pleased. We've, we've uh, voted today for a substantial shift away from income support to one of where we now pay for the delivery of uh, public goods by farmers. And that's an important principle we've now established. Uh, gone are the days when the direct payments were pure income support. In future, farmers will have to deliver environmental services in this case in order to receive the payments. And of course, we haven't made it a, a, a mandatory requirement, we've made it voluntary, but we're putting a, a, a good price on these environmental goods, which I believe will mean that 99% of farmers will volunteer to deliver that, uh, that uh, public good. So big, big break from the past where it was income support to one where it's now payment for public goods. And that's something that our group was very, very strongly supportive of. The big, big uh, negative was a vote in Parliament today to return to the failed policies of the past of massive intervention, widespread intervention in the marketplace, use of export restitutions, uh, which signals uh, a, a watch back to policies that failed farmers in the past and failed consumers. I'm pleased that the majority was only 100, but nevertheless it just show, does show that the natural instincts here is to protect rather than to open up to the marketplace uh, and support the, the direction that the policy has been travelling in for the last 10 years, which is a more liberalised market-faced agriculture. That's where we want to be. The Parliament voted to go back the way today.